and he is a legend in the South Bay. So, Mike, what was the inspiration behind starting Rock and Brews in general? You know, it's uh, kind of a all my years of restaurants and beers distilled into one experience. So, as you know, I kind of started 23 years ago with Manhattan Beach Brewery, opened a lot of breweries, then I opened finer restaurants like Rock and Fish and Strand House, and I kind of distilled all those into one concept, which I love, which is food, beer, and rock and roll. And I was able to surround myself with some really great partners, the Ferrano brothers, John Mesco, who's my partner here in Redonda Beach, and a a friend of mine and our kids are best friends growing up, and Gene and Paul, so. That's awesome. Now, how did you happen to bump into Gene and Paul? You know, I, you don't bump into Gene and Paul, but you know, as I kind of teach when I do speaking engagements at colleges, you know, you're only as good as your last deal. And uh, Gene ran into Tim Laiwicki, who was the uh, president of AEG, and asked him about me. And, and he said I was the best run restaurant at LA Live, and that's all I needed. And, the rest was history. Now, when you were looking for a location, I know this used to be a couple of renditions, so did you like scout out the area? And what was your choice of this location in particular? Well, luckily I grew up here. So I grew up in Rolling Hills Estates. Uh, I know this corner very, very well. I always thought it was under uh, performing as the old uh, remodel, remodel, remodel. And uh, I had the vision, I, this wasn't a, I didn't go look at any numbers or any statistics. I grew up here. I knew this corner would be great for a rock and bruise, and I think today I hopefully will prove that. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to tell us about, like the food or anything else that's fun about this place? Because uh, uh, we're just all thrilled. Well, the things I'd like to say is it's kid friendly. It's got a playground around the corner. You can bring your children down. As you can see, there's dogs in here. You can bring dogs in. It's a very friendly, family friendly environment. And, uh, I'm just really proud of my team, the food, the selection of beers. It's just everything I want in one restaurant. I'm standing here with Larry Drayson of Drayson Design Inc. He's come all the way from Beverly Hills to, to open this really amazing restaurant. He is the main designer and came up with all the cool elements. So, Larry, what was your inspiration and how did you kind of come up with this? Because it's a very cool, open look. Well, that's a wonderful question. You know, the Rock and Brews brand has evolved over the last three years. And the very first restaurant did not look like this. Uh, we basically started with uh, Dave Ferrano coming to us at the Zislas Group saying, why don't we put a little rock and, uh, rock and Fish, which is another one of our restaurants. And we decided it would be a really great idea to put some of the classic rock themed art into our uh, restaurant environment to give people a little nostalgia from the classic rock and roll. And it worked so well that something started uh, germinating in our minds. And Dave Ferrano said, it's always been my dream to hook up with some great restaurant people and do a restaurant called Rock and Brews. And at that point, we started brainstorming how we could do a Rock and Brews for no money. And so my task was to take this idea and to give it a, a brand, give it a character, and to give it all the finishes and function and create something with really no budget. Per restaurant, we try to mix it up a little bit. Not every restaurant has the same choice of art, and again, we try to be we try to be sensitive to the community and what we might, uh, you know, evolve into. Is there anything else you want to tell us about, like the open air feel or anything like that? What we really are proud of is that it really the restaurants really support the community in many ways. And first of all, it's a multi generational family restaurant. We have the picnic tables. The grandparents come with the kids, and then the grandkids, and everybody just has a good time. And what I like about it is that every time I come into one of the restaurants, people have a smile on their face. It's just a fun atmosphere, and we're just happy we can bring a great product and the service and the great quality to these neighborhoods. Well, we're thrilled to have you guys here. So thank you very much, and we wish you guys much success. Well, thank you for taking the time to ask me questions. I appreciate of course, it. of course.
name is Dave Ferrano, and I'm uh, one of the uh, lucky uh, co-owners of this uh, with absolutely great partners like Gene and Paul and Michael Zislas. Uh, uh, I just feel all of us are lucky in that a great team of people has come together to, great, to make great, uh, to, with, with goals to have great food, not good food, great food. A uh, great beer, a great... So tell me more about, like, what's the food? Like, I can see over here a little bit. Well, you know, today is a catered event for uh, for ourselves. So we we serve uh, this food for, you know, if you come here and have a birthday party or a party, you'll order, you know, family-sized Caesar salads and family-sized coleslaw and burgers and sliders and french fries and... and uh, uh, and signature pizzas and gluten-free pizzas. So uh, primarily burgers, pizzas, salads, uh, done great. And then tell us about the beers. I know men love beer. 52, 52 beers on draft, 100 beers by the bottle. Uh, we love beer here. Beer is our soul. And uh, so you come here, you don't come here to pop in and have a quick one and leave. You come in and settle down and have one or two and eat along the way. And uh, uh, you really enjoy the experience, enjoy the environment, enjoy the music, enjoy the friendship. Uh, this is a social beer hall, you know, so you're going to meet somebody at our picnic table. If you're four of you, you're going to meet four new friends by the time the meal's over. And uh, if there's 20 of you, we push two tables together and you got a party of 20. That's awesome.